go for it! Hey there, everybody. It's me, your buddy Dave, the host here of the uh, Dark Stuff channel here on YouTube. I wanted to come back with a quick um, video to talk about a podcast, not talk about any records. It's a first for me about talking about someone else's podcast, but um, I meant to mention it in a previous video, and even though it was on my screen in the background, which was supposed to remind me to talk about it, I completely spaced it, and so I forgot. But I did want to mention it because I keep listening to the show, and I feel like, you know, it's a new podcast. It's not one that I think that everybody knows about, so I thought I would I, I would give it a, um, a little bit of a, um, you know, a mention. I don't know. For what it's worth, right? A shout-out, as the kids say. So, it's called Bandsplain, and it's exclusive on Spotify, which... I know Spotify, whatever your feelings are, I probably agree with you. I love it and hate it, mostly hate it, but I do listen to it, I'm not going to lie. Um, even as a big record collector, I still want to use Spotify. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about it. I don't want to get into, go off on a tangent because that's likely to be what would happen. So it's this woman, I'm, I'm looking here to the side so I can remember it, Yassi Salik is the, the name of the host. And the idea behind the podcast is she's going to take sort of culty or obscure bands um, that people know about. Maybe she knows about them, maybe she doesn't, but they have this enduring legacy, following, whatever, and she finds someone who is a quote-unquote expert on the band to come in and explain what is the big deal with this band? Why am I supposed to care about this group either from 20 years ago or a group that's still current now? You know, some of them are current. The idea is great. I think that's a good uh, premise for a podcast because it's, it's unique, it's different. I don't know what this uh, Yasi uh, Salik does. I think she's probably in music journalism, I would guess, maybe a writer somehow, or perhaps she's in the industry. She does know a lot of people uh, that are industry people and writers and stuff, so she's probably in that in that world. I could probably ask on Twitter or something, but, you know, whatever. That's, that's research. There's no research budget on this show. Anyways, the premise is great. It has expanded somewhat into uh, cult and iconic bands. Iconic. That's the part that I'm, I'm a little iffy on because that means you can include bands like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Joni Mitchell, Counting Crows. I mean, they're not they're not iconic, but whatever. Um, the, uh, so, anyways, Dave Matthews Band. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's just me hating on them. But if you were alive in the '90s, you, you know they were not a cult band. They were very very mainstream. So, sometimes I'm a little confused on what bands are selected. However, I still enjoy the premise because when you have a show... I, By the way, I first noticed the podcast because of the two episode one they did on The Replacements. And as you know, anything with The Replacements, I check it out. And it had... Um, she was in her, talking to Bob Mayer, who's great, and he wrote the, the biography, Trouble Boys. He writes the liner notes and all of the... Uh, uh, all the box sets that come out. So he is a great source to talk to. Perfect source. So some of the ones that I really liked were, uh, let's see here. They did Jawbreaker, Ween, R.E.M. Now, R.E.M., they're iconic. They, and they used to be a cult band. I mean, they started off as, as a small band and got really huge. But they are one of the biggest selling groups of all time. So... Again, I don't want to get hung up on that. So I'm just going to say it was a good episode. I listened to the REM one and uh, and I enjoyed it. You know, no 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 doubt. Okay, so the episode on Fugazi was a really good one. It got my juices flowing and it got me actually listening to more Fugazi. And the great thing about this podcast is that because it's done through Spotify, they can actually play whole tracks. So what they'll do is they'll have the guest or somebody be like, you know, so play, a, what's a good song off of this record or whatever, and then somebody will recommend a song and you can actually hear the entire song just right there. You don't have to, if you're too lazy to even do any research, like going to the search function and looking them up, you can just sit there and listen to it. Anyways, so the Fugazi one, I intend to listen to the Kate Bush episode, um, but I haven't yet. The Lemonheads one was good. Uh, 
There's a Wilco one that was just posted today as I'm filming this video. Um, and probably by the time it's posted, there'll be one or two others. You know, who knows? Anyways, for what it's worth, I just wanted to mention it. I think it's really, really good. I'm pretty sure you can still listen to it if you have the free version of Spotify. You don't have, you just get commercials and stuff. Um, and whatever. I mean, that's then it's just like a regular show, right? It's called Bandsplain. Uh, I, I, I think it's a very interesting show. I'm recommending it to my fellow travelers out there in the vinyl community. Take care, everybody.